Hello, welcome to PKR TV. We've got a special one here for you. A little sit and go, beat the pros. We've got four pros, we've got a couple of qualifiers as well in the mix, seeing if they can go head to head with the best. We've got James666, we've got Wellbet, we've got Loka Dice, and the one, the only, Bane, Vladimir Geshkinbein. He's at the tables, he's also joining us here in the commentary booth. Let's see how he and the others get on. Here we go, four pros and two amateurs, you could say. Um, so here we go. No Waswini because he's French. No Scott because Sigh. you're a special case. But it's a $500 buy-in. The pros, well, they've got that in their back pocket. And the two challengers, well, they paid just $2 to get here. Uh, Smurfin67 from Holland, well, no major results. So even a second place here would be huge. Aqueous, well, first in the Mini Masters for some, uh, what's that going to be? A couple of grand, yep. I would imagine. Um, but still, here we go. First place is $1,050. Second, uh, uh, no, uh, first place, two grand. Second place is a grand. <laughs> what a start. Yeah, you've got the limb for the pocket freeze, James Iso, and Bane Iso. Flats with the 7-9 suit. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is an amateur sandwich. Imagine <laughs> having Bane and James either side of you. And here we go. Uh, James has got bottom <laughs> pair. Nothing for Bane. And uh, a set for the challenger. Very early on. Standard C bet for James? I'm not sure. I would check that back most of the time, but seeing as he's drawing dead, I can't say anything. <laughs> well, now he's got some outs. It's a terrible card for James, though. Now yeah. he's going to be thinking he's ahead. Yeah, not only does it give him outs, it gives him a really, really strong hand. If I were James, I would pretty much always race there to protect. There's two flush draws um, out there. And to get you out of there as well, presumably. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of bad river cards for his hand. Cool. Oh. And here's the river. That's not one of them, though. Bet. 60 into a 1,600 pot. That's really weird, I suppose. Uh, uh, he was doing it to induce something. And let's see if it happens. Obviously, James has to race. He's thinking, I'm so strong right now. And, and against, uh, you know, one of the non-pros, you would imagine you've got an edge in most situations here. All situations. Wow. <laughs> well, he's got the bad news. What does he think now against a completely unknown player? You've never played against this player before. What do you do? I guess he could fold it because there's not many hands that would play like this as a bluff, especially the dunk bet and oh. then raising <laughs> all in after the re-raise. I think he's pretty strong and you could lay down ace dues. I would, but James is just too bad. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's an ugly spot and this board has played out badly for James. Um, I guess the tricky thing is, you know, he knows how you guys play, or at least he's got a much better handle on yeah. you guys than the two complete unknowns. Does that mean they've got a little bit of an advantage more than their raw kind of skill level? I mean, they, do, they do and they don't. I mean, the pros are going to have much more knowledge on each other and the amateurs are going to have knowledge on the pros and the pros aren't going to have the knowledge on the amateurs. Oh. But <laughs> There's a lot of knowledge in the room. But, <laughs> but the pros are going to have a better idea on how to play against different types of players yep. when the amateurs might not. Well, I tell you what, we're like, obviously we've, uh, we've missed a few hands. This is just the highlights, but that is, uh, that's a big blow for James. He yep. could not get away from the two pair. And uh, well, uh, to the top of the chip counts for one of the challenges. Wow, uh, a two grand cash here in a six-seat sit-and-go would be pretty nice. Uh, none of you pros are so ridiculous uh, baller millionaires that two grand is nothing to you either, right? You still want to win this. Of course. And it, how much, how important is it to try and make one of your fellow pros look silly or to, to own them all? Is it more important than usual? Uh, yes, I, I would think so. We're all playing together, and uh, it was a lot of fun to play. 
and against people I know and goals. You look at the lineup. Uh, do you imagine that you're a favourite here, or uh, is course. kind of these kind of uh, six seat sit and goes? Uh, do you really look forward to them, or are they just? I don't know. I'm not really a big sit and go player, but I would imagine I'm not much oh worse God. than than anyone else here. Yeah, maybe Welbert is more uh, uh, familiar with sit and goes. I would suppose. Okay. And in you get. Um, I, I don't really like the way she played the hand. Right. Uh, but I understand, obviously, the call. But if I were her, I wow. would just jam it in. And the seven <laughs> on the river. Seven from heaven well, saves me. It's a seven from heaven. You're obviously ahead pre-flop. Yeah. But th we could have just seen you go out uh, in sixth place. And that could be the beginning of something beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. Um, we didn't see many hands from you early on. Uh, any idea of... How you got so oh. short stacked early, or do you not really remember that I guess far back I in your life? I dunked it off. <laughs> okay, knowing that you could get back into it with a seven yeah. from heaven. Oh, well, that, that's a funny hand. Okay, here we go. This is uh, this is monster, and this is what the challengers need really is for the pros. I mean, they don't see these two hands, but they need the pros to go after each other oh, rather yeah. than them, right? For sure. Okay, so here we go. Five nine nine. I was trying to induce a shaft from weaker holdings, so. Oh. But uh, unfortunately, he had, he had the aces and decided to slow play them. Yeah, it's, qu it's quite funny. You're both playing 20, 25 bigs and you're both trying to trap each other. You're, you're getting... <laughs> if James moves in here, you're... Of course, oh, instant yes. call. Instant yeah. call. Right. But uh, he decides to go fancy and call, I think. He's thinking what to do. And <laughs> is, is he, uh, does he decide to call there because you can have air a lot of the time and he's hoping yes. to get more money off you post-flop? Yes. Uh, that's not a bad flop for your hand. Wow. That's pretty good. I bet 200 to induce something stupid or to make him call me with some stupid draw. And uh, it, it may look pretty obvious, but there's there's a lot going on, obviously, that doesn't actually need to be going on in this hand. Yeah. But uh, both players are thinking of all the other hands you could possibly have that are not these two, right? Can, can I ask you here, Bane? Did you make this raise here just so if he does jam, you slow roll him? Yes, that was my plan. <laughs> I, I had a feeling it was when I watched this. After his raise, it's pretty yeah. much obvious he has a hand he wants yeah, to get the money. Yeah, he's never he's, folding. Yes. He's never folding. So when you did make this bet, I was like, okay. He, wants, he wants to be the one to call. I don't know why he <laughs> waits so long to make that move. I understand yeah. now. Yeah. I don't know why he waits so long for that, though. He, I mean, he knows you're not getting away yeah, from it at that I'm point. And uh, obviously the patented Bane slow roll with uh, <laughs> just a few chips left. And uh, folks, let me tell you that uh, you cannot see the chat box. But at this stage... Yep. James 66. Had an idea. <laughs> he, he he has figured out that Bane has oh the nuts. Really? <laughs> that is the that is the sound. <laughs> oh well. He sighs. Tough James, decision James, here. James, <laughs> James is uh Bane having a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> it's a uh, the <laughs> ethics of poker. Is this one of your favourite pastimes? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was yeah, yeah. <laughs> my favourite hand. <laughs> <laughs> and still we wait. As long, uh, uh, you must have activated the time bank, but I, I, I assumed it would go kind of orange. Oh, ah, there we oh, go. There we go. Oh, quads. <laughs> uh, must be nice. Quads <laughs> on the turn. Oh, and uh, the first pro to leave... Is James six six six? That's kind of uh, the way it's gone for James recently, <laughs> right? Bless his corn socks. Yeah, commiserations, Jimmy. Um, that's the way it goes. Five left. We haven't seen anything okay. from the German, I fold. and um, here he is in action. Uh, Bane from um, just above a thousand chips, right back in it. Raise makes it two and a half x. Uh, Loco dice. Three bets from the button. <laughs> and uh, a decent stack, I but uh, rightly, the Mini Masters winner gets out of the way. Wow, this is a 10,000 chip pot. Straightforward race. <laughs> and here's the river. And uh, 
There we go. So you double up with the dominating ace against Wellbet. You then outflop James, and then you win a race, and now you're the chip leader. It must be nice to be Bane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I would say I'll, I would play James. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. I plus one that. You would. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, King 10 off on the button. And now chip leader, we would have management. Uh, we would have managed that uh, punishment is the way forward. Uh, Loka dice. Well, after that hand, he's got nothing left. <laughs> and uh, one chip Goodbye. remaining. <laughs> okay. oh, I'd have been sick if he got there after he uh, saying goodbye. <laughs> strangle hold here, dead yeah. by the turn. Uh, uh, and that's the second scout for you. And uh, Sasha's gone. Four remaining, two will cash. Just a reminder, it's two grand for first and a grand for second. Uh, both of our online qualifiers are still in. They paid yeah. $2 to enter, um, and they will be licking their lips at this pro-on-pro pro destruction. Yeah, no wonder. I think they haven't played one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the first hand. I, I mean, I guess, it's, I guess it's tricky if you're really a low-stakes player and you kind of bink your way yeah. into what is what is a $500 sit-and-go with four yeah. accomplished poker players. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do except hope that you run good and get some cards. It's going to be really hard to play deepish post-flop yeah. against you guys. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it worked for them. They were so tight that uh, one of them got heads up. Yeah, I mean, obviously we... Would love to see a little bit of kind of uh, light three betting and stuff like that, but it's kind of hard to expect yeah. that in in this situation. Um, but here we go, pocket eights. This is a really tricky spot for for Aqueous. Gut shot and uh, only one over card. Yeah, I guess he he has to call that off with so many outs and so many draws out there. And the assumption is that the pros can have a wider range than the average player, yeah. although perhaps well bet. I mean, actually, I've seen her do lots of crazy and bizarre things, so her reputation for tightness is gradually dis yeah, it's disappearing, it's I think. Going. All right, so really, the river has changed this story not one bit. And the qualifier, well, had to have made their mind up on the flop what they were going to do on yeah. the turn if this yeah. happened. On this turn, I would call it off. Yeah, I, I'm trying to find out. Like, There's not many nines in Welbeck's range that's calling from the small blind. So most of the time I'm probably calling here as well. Like The only other hand that would beat you would be 6-5. Mm -hmm. So... But... Um, I mean, it's probably a lot of money for him, so he yeah, thinks for yeah. a long time and yeah. decides I can see to give a it fold. up. Uh, in, in this situation, do you say, well, that's a good fold, congratulations, or do you say, well, most of the time you should probably make the call even though I we mean, can see that you're behind? Yeah, I, I say most of the time it's a call. Okay. Definitely. I, I think a lot of hands... It's a strange well. game poker, isn't yeah, it, no. where we can <laughs> yeah. see that that's, yeah. the, that's the right fold in this circumstance. Exactly. I mean, well, bet's hands there look a lot like maybe two overs with the flush draw hands, types like that, that... Raise the turn and then shove in. I'm sorry, raise the flop. Yeah. Uh, well, here you're at it with the king six. You get just a call from the qualifier with an absolute monster. Yay. All in. Wow. That'll be the end of you in this hand, I'd imagine. Um, no. Oh, I don't like that shove at all. No, I, I don't think anyone in this room <laughs> likes that shove much. Uh, you would have presumably lost more money on on a completely blank turn, or would you? When would you have shut down if the player had just called you there with a? I would shut down on the turn because I would check fold unless I hit king or a six. Right. Because it doesn't make sense to bet again. Mm -hmm. And if you do improve, you're betting both streets for value. If yeah. You hit the turn. But even though they weren't making much money off you any other way, it's still wrong to scare off your customer with the stone cold nuts, <laughs> presumably. Oh, uh, well, here we go. What do we got here? We've got a limp uh, from uh, from Smurfin with the King Queen. We've got an, a short stack all in from Aqueous. I don't like the pocket fives play, especially with the two tight uh, um, two tight qualifiers yep. in, in there. They've got um, a lot of pairs in their range when they shove. Bunch of outs. Uh, it's a race gone the way of the qualifier, and uh, a double up. Although well bets. Quite far ahead of an eight big blind shove range. Right. 
it's just you're flipping or behind too often. That's not true because their apex blind range is much stronger than the usual apex blind range. Yeah, you make and a point. And she should know that. Point. They're not. I mean, they're not shoving hands like seven eight suited. Yeah, example. they're never. They're so never shoving hands. They're shoving big aces and pairs. And I mean, you think king queens in their range? Yeah, maybe. Hands like that, king queen, king jack. Oh Especially if the blinds are going up and they've not seen many strong hands, they're going to go yeah. a bit overboard with something like King Queen, King Jack. I'm sure they're Perhaps. aware that they can't sit there forever and they can't just wait for premiums. This hand, I just I usually shove, but in this spot I didn't want to shove because there was a big stack behind me, if I remember correctly. So I just raised, called it off. Yep. Good fold. And uh, is it not a fairly straightforward... Move in from well bet here? Yes, it is. Okay, I call. We're too shallow to do anything else. Let's see the flop. Oh my god. <laughs> well. And here's the river. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy way. And still no one goes out. Um, everyone has had a chance at the chip lead here, really, uh, apart from well bet, who's on her way. I guess, I mean... You know, we're not ridiculously short. There's, There's still some opportunity to three bet and maybe the occasional four bet to get someone away from a hand it's not like I, call. I mean obviously the short stack's got what 15 bigs but everyone else has uh, got a bit of movement there Fold. really odd call from the button yeah i don't really like really odd we've i mean seen, we've seen a couple of limps here but uh, the I pros call. never limp yeah. ever ever yeah. ever and there's a lesson for you Here's the ten. all right well <laughs> I mean, it might be okay to limp behind, but I'm Chunk. never open limping in a pot. Oh yep. God. <laughs> well, this is a tricky one. Uh, this is probably one of the toughest parts of poker when you are short-handed and you yeah. don't have enough experience of playing short-handed. You don't know when you should be shoving, when you shouldn't be. It's going to be quite tough. If, uh, the short stack's playing, what, 12 bigs now? Yeah, although really, that's kind of easy <laughs> in a way it's kind of easier to play the short stack than it is the big stack right now it, yeah. we've got two qualifiers yeah. and they're bookending this situation one's the chip leader one's the short stack short stack should realize that you know they're not going to be given I think, much i think room it's going to be easier playing a short stack because you can make much more mistakes when you've got a bigger stack yeah but i think the mistakes you might make as a short stack are more critical okay than they would be as a big stack all right Thought process? Um, well, he, she had 11 big blinds. I didn't like the call. I knew I was yeah, most of the time behind, but I was kind of pot committed after oh raising God. it. If she had 15 big blinds, I might have folded. Yeah, this is but for 10 big blinds, you're kind of... It's a crappy spot to be in, yeah. really. You, you, you know you have to call, but you really don't want right. to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, Been there before. again, uh, with with six left, you were the short stack. With four oh, yeah. left, you're, you're the short stack. You've been the chip leader. This is a real flip-flop of a game. Um, Need to learn how to keep a lead, Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Take your foot off the gas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dominating position. You've won one of these already. Um, this one looks safe so far. It picked up an extra out with the jack. Yep. But it holds, and uh, now Wellbet is the short stack. Blind's gone up 200, 400. And, uh, well, the chip leader is, you know, unsurprisingly staying out of it. Yeah. Um, You'd imagine at this point now that they're looking literally to maintain their stack and get heads up. Must be nice, though, to uh, to be looking at such a big cash mm -hmm. and, and the chip lead with four left. And this may Ooh, so well be... There. This could be the yeah. end of Sophia, but... Uh, you run good, babe. And I'm short stick again. <laughs> 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 right. The roller coaster known as Bane. All right, and uh, this is this is now modern poker, is it not? The uh, edges gained in having an excellent pre-flop game. That's a really easy oh call with God. five big blinds, but uh, I guess he just didn't want to bust. Yeah, well, we're not on the bubble yet, but I, I guess this is close enough. There you go. All uh, right. Well, this could be you out, but it's not. There's a uh, there's a flush draw there too, and uh, well, he gets through with the king. <laughs> I don't know how he dodged the river. They yeah, like twenty four billion out. Yeah, that's right. Um, so commiserations to uh, 
So Aqueous, who's who's down but oh. not out. Oh, I found Jax with less than a big blind. Fun, funnily <laughs> enough, Aqueous actually was left with um, an ante. Here comes the river. And uh, there we go. Doubles up. Yeah. Chip in a chair. Yeah. $3,000 prize pool in just this six-runner event. We will undoubtedly do more of these. I'd imagine the pros are pretty happy to get involved with one of these every couple of months. Can I play? <laughs> you can't play. I'm sorry. You could you could re you could resign your position and leave PKR and then sign up as a player and then play. If you really think the value is that huge, bro. You give me action, Bane. <laughs> <laughs> we we can make it 5k buy-in if you like. Uh, here we go, Aquius again. Uh, the A6 holds, and that is 75 chips. Uh, two double ups. This is a pretty. He was left with 47 chips. 47. 47. 47. Right. Well, this is an improbable journey back. Uh, surely it's got to end at some point. The blinds are going up. Yeah, they're, 600. they're in on the big blind now, so they have no choice. And it's a chance for one qualifier. They found Ace Queen. <laughs> 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 they found Jax when they were all in for 47, and they find Ace Queen all in the big. Uh, all right, here we go. Up to 1,254 <laughs> chips. I would love it if this was going to continue, although it does kind of get in the way of the game. Yeah. I guess everyone just thinks, you know what, they're going to be out soon. And then we get to three-handed. Oh, oh, my God. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh. This could be up to two and a half K and possibly a way back. Uh oh. oh. Well, well, let's spike to five. Well, your, your favourites are not going to win every time. Yeah. And unfortunately, this was just one time too many. Uh, and there we go. Sophia, Vladimir and Smurfin67. We are on the bubble. And this is going to be interesting because you can't, you're not going to be chip leader for long with 20 big blinds if you stay out of the way. No, every pot's going to be quite crucial now. I mean, there's 1,200 in the pot preflop. Sophia makes it 2x with a king. <laughs> Easy shove with the ace, and she gets out of the way. I'm guessing... Most hands should actually go that way. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, Bane's got no option there of his stack and the ace three-handed. Yay! Must have felt nice to shove with an ace rather than any two. Yeah. Do you, do you think you're going to gain any respect by actually, showing an actually, ace? Actually, yes, because the third player, <laughs> Smurfin. Smurfin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was so tight. Right. He was folding every hand, and so I, I wanted to keep him folding. I wanted <laughs> to keep <laughs> him keep thinking you. that I'm strong every okay, time. Yeah. And I was practically min-raising every time on the button or in the small blind, yeah. and he was just giving me chips. Right. I guess the only way you could possibly think you're strong is if you've never, ever read a single article online about you. <laughs> 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 or ever seen you play a hand of poker. But there we go, another race. Building up your new image. <laughs> Bane and Nit, I thought I'd never hear it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, we're still chip leader, but as you can see, these two breathing down her neck. Yeah, Bane's increased his stat by more than 50% without showdown. And is, nice. is there... A, I, I am aware that uh, certainly at the beginning of these big major live tournaments, if there are two or three really good players at the table and a load of fish, there is that kind of uh, unspoken rule that it's easier for you all to take Did you just hold ace-8 on the button? Yes. That was... Reasonably wow. tight, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to say the least. You can say you can say whatever you like. Yeah, indeed, that is tight. But uh, I guess under these circumstances, for a person who desperately wants to cash, they don't want to get shoved on, and I guess have to fold. Who yeah. knows? Who knows what's going uh, through particular players' heads? But uh, here we go. This is the perfect situation for the qualifier. Wow. You two are going at it. Look at this turn card. Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, well, that moves in for seven k. Uh, we can discuss that move. That, to the uninitiated, looks a little bit like a meltdown. I, I like the move. She has a flush draw. She has a gut shot. She could bet and then call a shove. Or, I suppose, bet and then check fold the river, but it doesn't make much difference. Right. What was the pot size when she shoved 7k? 7k into 5k. Into 5k. I like it. Okay. I think I like it. I mean... When you you say you can bet cool, which she can, but it's, it's such an ugly spot. Yes. I mean, shoving there takes away the ugliness of it. All right. <laughs> well, look, Smurfin67 from Holland has uh, 
got a dream ending to the situation. Heads up against Vladimir Bain Geschkenbein. I wouldn't say being heads I up with Bain's a dream, but... <laughs> I think a lot of players <laughs> would love to be in this spot. Okay, I'm all in. Well, I got him down to six big blinds, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you flopped a deuce. That's how it all ends. And <laughs> oh, they had a few more <laughs> the, jack, the jack just to finish with. Uh, well, there we go. Congratulations. Yeah, that's one sexy avatar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, a result for, for one of the qualifiers. Uh, second place, that was uh, $1,050. Congratulations to Smurfin. Uh that was all right from you. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Another couple of grand in your life roll. It's Must not often have we have the winner of something we're commenting on right here. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it was up and down, up and down, but uh, those, I'd imagine, are pretty easy to play, kind of played themselves for you. I enjoyed the uh, Synco a lot, and most I enjoyed outplaying James in that hand. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, easily done. Well, easily James done. was the first one out. Uh, he unfortunately his aces got cracked. Uh, Sasha was the next one. I can't even remember how Sasha went Ace out. Ace King v Baines Jacks. They had a big flip for all right. A million big blinds. Fair enough. Um, next to go is uh, Aquius, one of the qualifiers, yep. and then um, well bet that move, which uh, you guys thought was absolutely fine, jamming yep. it in with the semi bluff on the turn, uh, leaving Bane and the qualifier. Dream finish. Um, second place is still very tasty. A thousand bucks. Um, winner right here. Two grand. We'll be doing this again, so uh, head online for some news on that one. But uh, from me and two champions, it's goodbye for now.